Greetings from the frozen tundra of Slam Bone Field in Grim Bay, Wisconsin, where legends like Slips Bombardi and Threat Carve thrilled crowds stuffed with beer and cheese. We're sure to see some more classic action today if time doesn't freeze. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Terror Bay Mutineers battle, the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's good. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. First and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Oh. 
And it's first and ten. Away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Second down and ten. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. And he sure got his refund. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> Oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. First and two. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and six. for a touchdown. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going for no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Second down and long. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He is fighting for a crown game, should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. And he put all of his foot into that one. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. 
Third down and three. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And the putter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. gonna shave a few days off his life. <sighs> Second down and seven. <laughs> that ball was almost intercepted. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he pumps his way out of it. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. For eight yards. Second down and two. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the lineman. Third and two. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you shut up. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. The defense uses the time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. 
drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down in a lot. <laughs> At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. <laughs> Finish him. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and nine. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Third down and long. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. Knocking everyone down. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten at this rate the QB is going to have more interceptions one time when I was playing a guy hit me so hard I went into a dark tunnel thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Slipped away like a great pig. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. 
The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Red, can I kill him? Oh, now the offense is getting kills? Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. This is fantastic. First and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second down and six. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And that'll bring him third down in inches. And he breaks away. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And that'll be their final timeout. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And like a monkey trying to fuck a crease football, he gets he just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. First down and forever. A 
nice run there for eight yards. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom! Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. The QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. And the defense gets another. Oh, that was a big hit. And Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Only with them. called a time warp dirty trick negating that play completely the offense is pissed well i wish i had that trick in the elevator with me earlier i let one rip i made a really good one grim and then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on <laughs> that's when small talk is really put to the test First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And he's running like a moose right now. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Hey, man. You see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And then Cats will give him a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and six. running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Second down and nine. 
And there's another pick. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Second down and five. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. Second down and two. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downers guy than a speed feed friend. He's running from his demons, it's clear. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Third down, and well, hot, good luck. Hot one, hot two. Hot. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. And he snags the punt and looks for a yeah, bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. Bricks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Caught for the first down. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Guys, 
He's talking about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier is saying, well done. Boom, ten and ten. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The offense has no running back left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I hope you covered your ears, Brick, because that was a sonic play. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He can go all the way. He's at the 30. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and 10. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joe. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant man. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets projected. That's why right, that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And the coach said the 
the offense was going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field. And oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. some payback after that. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're gonna split his skull wide open. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stump. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full and with another pick the QB says. Ouch! What is this? And he's wrestling? And it's first and ten. He's 
Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First down and five. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. What in the fuck am I watching? And wasn't this guy in a lost wig just all male dance from you before he signed? Yeah, they were called nuts and bolts. His stage name was Vice Rip. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First down and one. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, tap off my drink. When did I do that? First down and one. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. They could not connect on that play. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy game. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. They stump the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you 
it just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of script. And that's another turnover for the defense. Now the old broke-back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. Second down and a very lot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. One, two, three. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The attackers attack the opposition to a bloody pulp and are victorious today. It was total and complete and utter domination. And speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Uh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...